this we have already discussed. Then what we are talking about is that when it was isovolumetric contraction, pressure has gone up to 81. As soon as it becomes 81, right, pressure in the ventricle become more than aortic. aortic. And which valve will open now? Aortic valve. Yes, please. Aortic valve. And when aortic valve will open, what will happen? Blood will start ejecting rapidly from where? From the ventricles. And blood is being pumped where? To aorta. And now, as you know, aorta is what kind of artery? Muscular or elastic? So, it will stretch out. Aorta will stretch out. It is receiving the blood. You know, many things when they receive the things, they stretch out. So, aorta will stretch out. Right? As soon as the aorta will stretch out, advantage of this thing is that with little increase in its pressure, it can accommodate more volume. Right? But you know, ventricles are really now very aggressive and they keep on contracting, systole continues and what really happens that now aortic valve is open, so volume, blood volume from the ventricular chamber is constantly being pushed into aorta. And meanwhile, pressure in the ventricle may reach to the peak of 120. The pressure may reach up to 120. But now listen carefully that aortic valve is open. So it means now left ventricular chamber and aortic chamber are behaving like a single chamber. So pressure changes which are occurring in the left ventricle will be faithfully transferred to the aorta. So pressure in aorta which was previously 80 as soon as the valve open pressure in the ventricle goes up to 120 and of course pressure in aorta will also go to 120. Is that right? And during this phase the blood is very rapidly being ejected but you know nothing lasts forever. Even rapid ejection cannot last forever you must be knowing so it has to slow down. So what really happens in the next phase but before I move on to the next phase we have to study this phase with three standards. What happened in atria? What is happening into ventricle? What is happening in aorta? We have already discussed what is happening in ventricle. That this is a phase when ventricular pressure has more than aortic pressure. So aortic valve is open and blood is from the ventricle being ejected rapidly into aorta. aorta. Right? And of course, what is happening to aorta? You can understand if it's pushing the blood into aorta, then aorta is receiving, receiving the blood. There's no fun in explaining that. Right? And pressures, whatever pressure changes are coming into ventricle, once aortic valve is open, the same changes are now being transmitted into aorta. Meanwhile, this humble chamber is still working as a tank, as a tank. It is still working as a reservoir. It is still receiving the blood from, yes please, from where? From the lungs. Right? And due to that reason, so what happens to them? You know, in the beginning there was a A wave which was due to what thing? Atrial contraction. In the next phase, when isovolumetric contraction started, there was C wave. And then this wave of accumulation of venous blood is called V wave. So this V wave is continuing, right? So we can say that when ventricles are contracting, atria are just acting as reservoirs and they are receiving whatever blood is coming to the atrium. Am I clear? Yeah. yeah. Is that V wave like a flat line or is uh, V wave? No, it's a gradual look. Uh, we should draw really like this. Okay, for your personal interest, I will draw it more prominently. This is the A wave, right? This is atrial contraction. contraction pressure, right? Please don't confuse with P wave, which is representing electrical event. This right. is A wave, which is representing mechanical event. After that, there was C wave, which was representing onset of ventricular contraction and of course after that this is the V wave which is showing how the pressure is progressively increasing into atrium as atria is accumulating more and more venous blood coming from the ventricles and atria is behaving like a reservoir or as a tank. Is it clear? Now, this phase during which ventricle is very rapidly ejecting the blood into arterial tree, especially in aorta, 
which is elastic vessel and as blood is rapidly entering from the ventricle to aorta due to its elastic compliance it stretches out right and pressure in the ventricle are faithfully transmitted to aorta as aortic valve is fully open right or we can say ventricle and aorta are behaving as the same chamber right this phase is called rapid ventricular ejection phase please remember it is ejection phase spelling should be carefully written it is rapid ventricular ejection phase right but you know things can never continue to eject forever so once it has squeezed the blood with high pressure and there has been rapid ventricular ejection after that ventricle start relaxing but before it start relaxing it goes to the next phase and in during the next phase the speed of ejection of blood become less that is why next phase is called slow yes slow ventricular ejection phase now again let's consider the three chambers during the slow ventricular ejection phase as we have discussed that throughout the ventricular contraction mitral valve will remain closed, closed as pressure in ventricles remain constantly higher than the pressure in atrium so mitral valve is closed and at this particular phase still atrium is acting as a reservoir it means that v wave is still continuing ventricle is yes still contracting but because some amount of the blood has been ejected so pressure in the ventricle is not that much and pressure in the ventricle start falling and aorta aortic valve is still yes open right and you remember pressure when ventricle started contraction at pressure of 5 what was closed mitral valve was closed at pressure of 80 81 which pressure which valve was open aortic aortic valve was open at pressure of 120 it was the maximum ejection phase rapid ejection phase now we are entering into phase when gradually pressure start falling right and when pressure is starting falling so naturally the ejection has become